Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to store your numbers as text values. Now we're gonna look at five different ways that we can achieve this. Now the most obvious way is to just select the cells on the home tab of your ribbon, go to the drop down for formats and then choose text. You can see all the values go to the left of the cell, which means they're now stored as text. Now that's not gonna work for everyone. For example, the date has now become a number. I might want to prefix a telephone number with zeros, and I might want to get rid of this scientific format. So let's look at the next way. The next way you could do it is to add an apostrophe in front of the number. So for example, if you had a telephone number that you wanted to start with a zero, you could add your zero in front of the number, but also add an apostrophe in front of the zero. And then that stores the number with the zero prefix. I could do the same down here. If I put an apostrophe in front of this large number, it will store it as a normal number rather than being formatted with scientific format. Now for both of these issues, there is in fact a setting in Excel now that you can turn off. If you go to File and then Options, and then go down to data. You'll see a section here, automatic data conversion. If I untick remove leading zeros and untick keep first 15 digits of long numbers, then that will stop those two issues that I've seen in my spreadsheet here. I'll cancel out of this. The next option is to use text to columns. So what you would do is you'd select all your numeric values. You'd go to the data tab on your ribbon then text to columns, next, next. Column data format, select text, and then your destination. So you could either replace these numeric values with text values, in which case you keep your destination as B2, the active cell, or you can specify another cell. So I'll put the text versions of these numbers in column C, finish. And you can see it's converted all the numbers to text. I keep the date as a date rather than a number, but also I get the scientific number appearing as a normal number, even though it's now stored as text. Fourth method. What we can do to force Excel to store these numbers as text is concatenate the value with an empty text string. So equals the cell that contains the number, ampersand, and then an empty text string. I copy this down. These are now stored as text. You can see though that the date has become its serial number. If I want to get rid of the formulas underlying these values, I would copy, Control C, Home, Paste, Paste Values. Now there's no formula underlying these values. Okay, so maybe we need to work a little bit harder on some of these formats. To do that, we can work with the text function. Now I've written some codes down here that we can use with the text function. And I've got those codes by just going into format cells, which you can get to by right clicking format cells, or you can use the shortcut key control one. And for example, if I selected the currency format and then went to custom, you can see the syntax for the currency format that Excel uses. All I've done is copy those characters and pasted them into this cell just to show you which format I'm using with each of these values. So how do I use the text function? It's very simple to use. You've got two arguments, value, and then the format text. So this is where in quotation marks, I use the text format that I want to apply. You can see that it's text because it's left aligned within the cell and it has this format applied to it. For this value, I want to convert it to a percentage value. So again, I'd use text. And in quotation marks, I'd use this syntax, 0.00%. Now you could also do that for dates. You could do it for telephone numbers where you want a leading zero and you can convert scientific format to a normal number. Now, just to cheat a little bit, I'm gonna use the text function. 
referring to this value here, comma, but my format text value, I'm going to pick up from column D. If I copy this down, you'll see that it works for the other numbers. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.